Hi everyone, so today's video is Secret Kisses versus KR um, lipsticks. What's the difference? Okay, so this is my personal review on the Secret Kisses and the KR. I don't have a lot of the shades. I have um, four of the Secret Kisses and these are the four that I have. I have the silver, which is foil. I have white, which is pure. And I have two other shades that I didn't have when I did my um, haul. And this light pink. And I'm and I'm also going to do swatches. The light pink is It's a Girl. And I have this really sky blue that's named Sky. So with KOR, I have these three. I have this orange, which is Ooh La La. This red is Stop. And this plum, which is Sex. So let me tell you my review on KOR first. So with KOR, these two are very drying. Um, I wore these all day at work. And this one is a little less drying than the plum, than the sex. This one I had to reapply three times. This one I reapplied five times. They sort of feel like a, um, a stain a little, but oh my goodness, they leave your lips so chapped. So, I don't know, I don't know, maybe the different shades have different formulas. I don't know because I don't have all of them, but this one, this um, red, which is the stop, this is not drying at all. I wore this twice all day at work and I just love it I only applied it twice because I ate lunch and I was drinking all day other than that if you want um, to get any of the KORs that I have I can tell you that this stop is really pretty on your lips and it's really nice so of the secret kisses this white the pure is also very drying um, I've used it you know with eyeshadow um, I don't know if it's the eyeshadow that's making it making a lipstick um, dry on your lips but it's very drying also and the foil is okay um, I didn't have any problems with the foil but I also didn't um, wear this all day so I don't know about all day wear. I mixed it with um, other shades, which it was okay. Um, so let me tell you about these two. This one is It's a Girl from Secret Kisses. Was a very disappointment for me. Um, I thought it was pretty. Actually, I thought it was more of a pink lilac color. The only thing I hate about Secret Kisses website is that the colors are not exact so K.O.R. I love about her lipstick is that her samples are actually on her lips or what they look like her lips made her somebody else's lips but she has exact lipstick so you know exactly what the shade is going to look like so let me tell you about this one it's a girl it's very sheer and it's glossy but it's not good lipstick I don't know if they changed a the formula for this one but this one is not pigmented and I'm gonna put it on and let you and so you can see what it looks like so this is it's a girl it actually smells good the other ones don't have a scent but this one smells really good It sort of smells like the um, MAC lipsticks a little. I like it on top of something else. 
I would not wear this lipstick by itself because one it's too sheer and I don't know it just moves you know when you go like this you can see like the imprint so this one I would definitely wear um, over something else so let's try sky which is a nice blue and just so you know I have not worn it's a girl in sky all day I can't wear this to work not by itself at least I'm going to use a brush to um, get the little nooks and crannies. Okay, so this is Sky. Now, Sky is um, also glossy. I don't know if it's the same formula as it's a girl, but it's more pigmented than it's a girl so i have worn sky but i have not worn it by itself i um mixed it in with the pure and a darker blue and it sort of gave like a little ombre color now my review on secret kisses versus kr what's the difference really nothing um, I think they're probably using the same manufacturer since um, Keisha KR was affiliated with Secret Kisses and their lines are very similar. Even the packaging is similar. So my take is it depends on if, how much money you want to spend. I do know that she do have um, very nice colors. She, um, you know has some colors that Secret Kisses don't have and then Secret Kisses have some she don't have and I know it's like you look on YouTube and some people like Secret Kisses more than KR and you have a right to your opinions but in my opinion I don't see the difference it's all about how much money you want to spend I do know um, Keisha KR every now and then she'll have 15% um, off specials but then Secret Kisses I think like every maybe month or two they're having specials also um, which the last two I bought I only paid $10.99 for them and then they have free shipping and no tax so it's either or um, you know on how you you know want to spend your money um, on the other end as far as the prices Secret Kisses, all of your lipstick shades are one price. Keisha's, hers are all different prices. Um, she, They run from, I think, $15.99 to $22.99. Now, I'm not paying $22 for lipstick unless it's Chanel or something. You know, I know, you know, she's out there now, but I'm still not paying $22 for lipstick. So until she, like, maybe get on the bandwagon as everybody else, which I doubt it, since so many people are still, you know, purchasing her um, lipsticks, you know, for the amounts that they are, they'll probably stay the same price. Um, I have noticed that she does have um, bundle deals. The Secret Kisses does it, so that's a good thing. And her bundle deals, as far as the lipstick and the lip gloss and the eyeshadow, are four for sixty, which makes them. Um, I think it's fifteen dollars each. It used to be four for fifty-four, but I guess with the popularity, she went up on the price. Um, but other than that, you know, pick whichever one you want, and it's your choice. So. If you're wondering, will I still order from Keisha? Yes, I will. If it's something that I really, really want. So, I hope you enjoyed my video and I gave you, you know, information that you need as far as these two lipstick brands. And I will see you later. So, until then, bye-bye.